Okay, my, my name is Daniel Chen. I'm a TCG researcher, programmer, and I'm here to present our work on PMU and bad data detection algorithms. So this work is done jointly with John Mongzhan and with our advisors, Zbigniew Kalbacek and Alejandro Dominguez Garcia, and also with the help of many TCG staff. So PMU's enable wide area measurements. It allows us to directly measure the state of the power system. Namely, it allows us to directly measure the voltage magnitude and the phase angle where we place the PMU. And this is possible because of the synchronization of the PMUs through the GPS signal. However, it is possible to spoof the GPS signal and compromise the integrity of the PMU data. So in 2008, scientists from Virginia Tech and Cornell University warned about the potential consequence of GPS spoofing attack. And in the paper, they claimed that with even just 10 microseconds off, it could cause power generators to have problems. So in our university, um, Professor Dominguez Garcia in another TCG uh, research activity showed that it is possible to spoof the GPS clock up to 8 milliseconds, which correspond to 180 degree phase angle shift for the PMU. So in this figure, it shows their simulation result. They were able to spoof the clocks by 5 milliseconds, which correspond to 100 degree angle shift. So to detect bad PMU data, we combine both SCADA data and PMU measurement together to form redundant information. And from the redundant information, we're able to detect the consistent measurements. And the challenge in doing this is that um, PMU measurements comes many times per second. In our configuration, it comes 30 times per second. Whereas the SCADA data comes once um, every one to six seconds. So basically, we're using less accurate data to detect errors in more accurate data. So to overcome this challenge, we have to use some statistical method to address this problem. So the detection algorithm is the following. So from the SCADA data, we have the voltage, the P and the Q. And from PMU measurements, we have the voltage and the angle. Using the DC approximation of the power flow equation, we can write them as a system of linear equations. So by solving these equations, we can estimate the state of the power system. So once we estimate the state of the power system, we can use chi-square test with normalized residual to detect the bad measurements. So this figure um, illustrates the principle of the chi-square test. So from the estimate state, we can compute the estimate measurements, which is represented by the blue line. And then we compare that with the actual measurements, which is represented by the red dot. So if the red dot, if the actual measurement is too far away from the estimate measurement by a certain amount, by a certain threshold, in this case, we use two standard deviation, then we consider it as a bad measurement. So we want to test the algorithm on the WSCC night bus system to verify the, the efficiency of this detection algorithm. So the scenario we have is the following. We assume that we have three PMUs, one on bus four, one on bus five, and one on bus six. And we want to um, corrupt the phase angle of one of the PMU to simulate the impact of a GPS spoofing attack. And we want to see if we're able to detect the bad data to identify which PMU that bad data is coming from and determine how much angle shift is that bad measurement from the supposed value. So our test bed setup is the following. So we simulate the WSCC night bus system in RTDS. And the RTDS is physically connected to three SEL421 relay slash PMU through the analog output port on the back of the RTDS. Then the PMU, made, so th this way we can get the real PMU measurements. And the PMU measurements is feed into the open PDC where we do real time processing and alignment of the PMU data. Next step, we feed um, the data 
that's going through OpenBDC into a GPS spoofing simulator. So using this simulator, we can, um, we can simulate the impact of a GPS spoofing attack. Then we feed that data into the detection algorithm. And then we have a visualization that simulates the visual in a control center. So normally, if all the data are correct, then the PMU measurements will display in a green box. However, if the detection mechanism detects that there is an error, then the green box is going to become red to highlight the potential problem to the operators. So right now, I would like to demonstrate the detection algorithm on the test bed. So on your lower left screen, this, one, this screen shows the um, R RTDS simulation. So here we show the voltage waveform of the three buses where we place the PMUs. And the PMU data is sent to the um, SEL421 relay slash PMU. And this screen shows the SEL quick set program which is connected to one of the PMU. And it's displaying the phase component and the sequence component um, of that specific PMU. Then the data from the PMU is feed into the OpenPDC. So this screen shows the interface to the OpenPDC manager. So we can show the voltage magnitude and the phase angle that's displayed on the OpenPDC open interface. And this screen shows the GPS spoofing simulator, which we'll use later to simulate the impact of a GPS spoofing attack. This screen shows the uh, visualization at the control center. So right now you can see that um, the green box is displaying the PMU measurements. And right now, because all the measurements are correct, so uh, it's showing in green. So right now we're going to demonstrate, we're going to um, simulate a spoofing attack on bus 5, so we're going to change the phase angle by 10 degree, by 15 degree, and then we're going to run it. So after a few seconds, you should see that the, um, the, the green box turned to red to highlight that now, right now, bus 5 um, PMU measurement is shifted by 15 degrees. So in summary, we described that GPS spoofing attack as a potential threat to PMU um, data integrity. We also demonstrate a bad data detection algorithm showing that we're able to detect the bad measurements, identify which PMU is sending that bad measurement, and how much angle shift is the measurement from the supposed value. And we also demonstrate that the test bed setup enables realistic and close to real-world testing and verification of the algorithm.